Welcome back to the channel. Oh my goodness, what a day. It started early, but now it is like um, almost 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, yes, I started the vlog later today because it was a travel day. Um, we are today in Sicily. This is the first time for me that I'm exploring this very, very close island to Malta. Um, and I am truly excited because we are actually doing it Currently, we are traveling with a motorbike and we are going to see a couple of places. This is going to be a trail run. This is my first time here. You guys have been here a couple of times. And I am really, really excited about this. So, we have traveled here with Virtu Ferries. Um, we came here this morning. We left early from Malta and it took us only like an hour and a half to get here. Um, we spend the day relaxing. We spend the first day relaxing. Hence, I am doing the um, starting the vlog now because we didn't go exploring any places. We have um, visited um, a friend um, and we spent the day relaxing by the pool and eating and catching up. And so we decided this day is going to be like this. We tra we started the this trip in a relaxed way. Tomorrow we will start exploring. We are um, going to Etna, I believe. It is on the list um, to go and visit the Etna. I've never been, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Now we have come to another villa. Um, it is all for us. We are traveling in three, me, Omar and Dania. And it is so peaceful here. It's like in the middle of nowhere. And we have a huge, huge back area full of trees and nature and it's just bliss. We're right off the beach here. We have a huge pool. We have a huge villa only for us. So it is quite relaxing. <laughs> it's a perfect way to start a visit trip. And then tomorrow we start exploring the island. I hope you stay with us because it's going to be so, so, so exciting. It's hot. It's hot. It's very hot. But it's not as hot as Malta, actually. There is a bit of a breeze, so it's going to be an amazing trip. I hope you like it as much as I'm looking forward to it. in sunny Sicily, Siracusa. We are still in Siracusa today. We are still in this villa that we are staying in. And it's a bit of a late start today. Um, we meant to start the day earlier because we are going on the Etna volcano today. But it's already 11. The sun is, is absolutely at its best, which I won't complain about, but not ideal to go around in. But we've got some, look, we've got hats. Well, not hats because we're going to be wearing helmets because we're going around on the bike. So uh, we're very limited. So, but we're going to go anyway. The plan was made. We're going to do like this. We're going to stop uh, for breakfast and we're going to go on the volcano. See what we're going to find. We're not going to walk a lot. We can go up as far as we can with the bike and then we should get a uh, um, some kind of transport we don't know yet to get to the top of um, Etna. I'm excited about this. I've actually never been on a volcano before and it's actually uh, so close to, <laughs> to Malta and I can't believe that I've never been. But uh, so let's start exploring.
I did start the trip a little bit late. It was actually almost midday and it was unfortunate because we didn't get too far. <laughs> because the bikes got overheated, we got overheated when we were riding in 50 degrees heat and we just had to stop under the first tunnel that we found so we can get off the bikes. We were just two seconds away from catching fire. <laughs> it was unbearable so we had to take a break let the, the bike cool down and uh, we needed to cool down because we were just on fire and we had a break and we just gave up on the trip to us on the day um, we drove a little bit further we found a shop where we, a restaurant um, where we could stop and have some cool drinks which we didn't find because Sicily was experiencing some power cuts so um, the drinks were lukewarm which was fine and but this shop about this restaurant all this restaurant was like a capsule from a movie of the 80s it's like going back in time <laughs> but at least it had a fan which we sat in front of for a couple of hours until we really cooled all the way down and then one of the local well, locals was kind enough to tell us that um, there was a beautiful stunning beach um, close by so um, after a few hours, we have to look for this beach, and this is what we found. We did spend a couple of hours here on this amazing, huge, huge, huge beach, which wasn't even busy. Uh, then we set off back to the villa where we were staying and made a plan for another day to visit Vietnam. This video is brought to you in collaboration with High Life Travel. Introducing High Life Travel. We bring you discounted wholesale travel rates on flights, hotels and resorts, weekly condos, cruises, activities, dining, shopping and more. Save up to 70% off what the public pays with just a few clicks. The truth is, travel memberships are out. Prepaid travel is in. High Life Travel is first to market with prepaid travel. There's absolutely no monthly or annual fees to access your savings. They can be used whenever you want and they never expire. Getting started is simple. First, create a free account. Second, book a trip. Third, save. Join a global movement as we reinvent wholesale travel and never pay a travel membership again. of days later um, the temperature dropped a little bit we set off early and we were determined to go to Etna and we did that we did the ride was amazing the views were amazing it was it was a perfect day for a long ride and we really really did enjoy it We finally made it on the Etna. We finally made it. It was a very, very beautiful ride, an easy ride, even though 
it gets a little bit uh, challenging with all the turns and sharp turns. I'm going to get guys to tell you 10 masks of the bikes when you take um, uh, this road. Because you need to be really, really careful and know where you are going because when the coach is versus the bike, it's like a bike. But is the trip um, up here, all the way up here, it took us around um, an hour and a half to get here. We didn't stop, we all just stopped once to ask for directions, and it was absolutely worth it. Um, this is disappointing because there is, we don't have much time here because we have to go make it all the way to Saracusa uh, by 6 o'clock in the evening, and it's already 4 and we don't know what we're going to find in the road. But there is a huge line for the cable carts, which I will go on top of the, now it's the cable carts, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I would recommend to go around this shop here because they sell beautiful stuff with love. And I'm going to show you later. Okay. Now we're going to get ready. And we're going to go um, down. Um, we have something here. They're not that expensive because everyone was having us go But up there, obviously, they're going to be expensive, but they're not. We had some arancini, coffees, and drinks, and it's only about 12 euros. So it's decent. I wish I could show you the view better from here because we are truly high outside with the clouds. You can't exactly see it from here. So guys, um, my advice if you come to visit Etna, which is a must if you are in Sicily, um, you actually, it is a good idea to set off early, to set start the day early, but you don't actually need a full day unless you are doing one of the excursions of hiking or biking around the volcano. Um, basically, the, the most important attraction that there is uh, is the cable cart, which is 15 minutes up and 15 minutes down, and that would cost 50 euros per person. And then once you get up there, once you get to the top, you can also take a tour with the jeep, with a guide that will take you to the craters and will explain all the history and all the information, give you all the information about Etna, which is absolutely so much fun um, that guide with the jeep would cost around 67 euros but should you combine them both they have a special price and i think if i am correct it was around 90 euros for both per person so that is another option should you be here in winter and would want to go skiing or hiking or biking there is a shop that is equipped with everything where you can rent um, hiking boots bicycles helmets skis and everything that you would need for that day's excursion so if you forget something behind um, you you they have your back for sure they have your back thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it i'm looking forward to sharing with you a few more videos from sicily and i hope to see you next time please like and subscribe and don't forget to share if you know somebody that is going to visit sicily anytime soon